Uh, just uh, very, just very excited to be here. Um, just pre been, been preparing all year for this, and just trying to really play a, a really challenging schedule to get ourselves here. But um, just really proud of this team that's just really fought and stayed together all year and created just a great identity for themselves. And we're just excited to be here. Open up for questions just for the student athletes at this time, David. Uh, ladies, if you could both uh, answer about this, um, how much is Dawn Staley still a presence at Virginia from your practice? facility to your gym to common rooms, you know, how much is her picture and her accomplishments talked about these days? I mean, her name and her pictures are <laughs> everywhere um, at JPJ. So just her presence is definitely felt, you know, just the type of determination that she played with and that she still coaches with today. Um, it, it's definitely in JPJ, it's definitely in Charlottesville, and you can tell that she means a lot to the UVA community. Yeah, and just to build off of that, our fans are, are always commenting on the legacy that she's left, and we definitely know and feel that as players. Um, and just trying to bring the program back to the height that it was when she was playing and in respect to her and the others that came before us. Question in the back. You know, Lauren, I talked to you the other day. Jocelyn, what does it mean to be here? I mean, it's a great feeling. Um, We've been working for this all season long, and it's just been one of our goals, one of the reasons that we came to Virginia, um, and just sticking with the process, even though we've had, we've been through a lot of adversity this season, and throughout, well, my two years, but definitely Lauren's four years. So to finally see um, some of the fruits of our labor pay off, and knowing that there's still unfinished business for us as we enter the tournament and begin this new phase of our season, it's just a great feeling um, and great excitement for us. Ben. Um, this is for both of you. Just what kind of challenges does Cal present, and, and, and what sort of stands out about the style they play with? Um, you know, they have a for me at least they have a huge pros present presence. Um, so that's going to kind of be me and Felicia's job um, to kind of take care of her and you know manage her down on the post. And I know they have very quick guards. So just making sure that we're doing our the things that we talk about since day one. Um, defensively, guarding the ball for a yard not letting the ball get, in, get into the post so easily, you know, just take away, you know, 10 to 12 points off of rebounds and things like that. So um, just making sure that we're tight on the defensive end and we're communicating well. Yeah, we haven't played a Pac-12 team um, this season, but I do think we've had a very challenging non-conference schedule and obviously the ACC is pretty challenging in and of itself. Um, so we've had a lot of preparation, even though it is a different style, um, style of play. But just as far as the up-tempo pace, pushing in transition, rebounding, those are some of the things that are still the same and pretty consistent in a lot of teams that we've played against. So as long as we manage some of those things, I think we'll be good. Jeffrey. Lauren, uh, what does it mean to you to be here and be playing an NCAA tournament game tomorrow, being a senior? Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. I honestly don't think I've like come down from it <laughs> since Monday. Um, every day I wake up and I'm just like, wow, we're in the tournament. But like Josh said earlier, it's time to take care of business now. Um, it was a great feeling to hear our names called. Um, however, we're really excited to play, you know, kind of get the jitters out and just, just represent Charlottesville and the UVA community. Go to the back of the room. So I guess to, to end this drought, what, 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 what what goes through your mind now that you're actually here? Um, handling business. You know, we talk about our identity and the way that we want to play consistently um, and just making sure that we're really tight in the details, um, not letting any loose ends, you know, whether it's through communication or the way we execute on offense, not being lax. Um, just making sure that we're really, really clean and um, we're practicing as we're going to play. I think as we get further into the season, we know that our margin of error is very, very small. Um, we're going against all competitive teams. I mean, everyone made the tournament for a reason. So I think we're all just really dialed in and focused. We've had some really great practices and preparation days so far and just trying to keep, continue um, and build off of that. So that's where our mindset is right now. Any other questions for the student athletes? None? OK, you guys can go. Appreciate it. And again, their locker room is open if anybody wants to go down there. Open up now for questions for Coach Boyle. David with the first one. Coach, looking at California, what do you think is the biggest challenge to trying to stop them, particularly in the post? Christina, I mean, she's um, All-American. She's just a great, solid post player. She's very efficient with what she does. 
And so just, you know, however we're going to play her, just taking, making it tough for her, you know. It just can't, she just can't have easy touches inside because, she, like I said, she's very efficient. She doesn't use a lot of post moves, but she's long, she's lanky, she can jump. And um, she's just a good finisher. So we just got to make it really tough for her and change defenses on them and, you know, do, do what we do. And um, it's not just going to be one person's responsibility. So, again, we have multiple things we can do, and um, we'll, we'll use those things accordingly. Uh, just when the bracket came out, what was kind of your first thought when you see Cal given all that history? I chuckled because I was like, okay, this, I, I didn't, prior to that, I wasn't even thinking Cal, you know, as us as a matchup for whatever reason. And uh, when you did, I just really thought, okay, storyline, here we go. And, you know, you, you continue to look at the bracket and it's just storyline, storyline, storyline. So um, it is what it is. And, you know, I've t talked to the team and we control the controllables. We don't control where we go, who we play, how the refs are reffing, what the stands are like. And we just dial in and come in every day and practice hard as though, you know, we're just playing another really, really good team. And so we've just tried to keep that focus not too high, not too low. Over here, Rick, front. What are your range of emotions? Of course, the excitement of playing in the NCAA tournament, but you're also going to be coaching against a good friend. Yeah, really good friend. I don't try and go there much, you know. She, Lindsay texted me two minutes after it came through and she was like, dang, and I was like, I know, because I don't think anybody in this business likes playing their friends. I mean, so it is what it is. Someone's gonna come on top and someone's not, but in the end, our friendship will stay where it is. And really, right now, the focus is just about the team and the game. David. Joanne, what's your relationship like with Coach Staley? Have you talked about maybe having a series in the future? Do you guys, have you all talked a lot over the past eight years? We have, you know, Dawn is so busy. Um, more than busy, more more busier than most of us with all that she's handling on her plate. She's very gracious and cordial on the road, and really our interaction has been more on the road recruiting. We, we usually run into each other in gyms and stuff, but she's been as kind as um, kind can be. And so uh, we don't have a ton of interaction just because we're so busy. And like I said, she's got a lot on her plate with national team and you know here. So, but she's she's done an unbelievable job here over the last couple of years and. Obviously, like the, the girl said, her legacy in Charlottesville is on. And so just really respect all the things that she has done um, in, her, in her career. Go over here to Jeffrey. Uh, Joanne, um, how does it feel to finally get to this point? This rebuild has taken a little longer than yeah. Cal or Richmond. So yeah. how does it feel to finally get to the NCAA tournament with Virginia? Yeah, it's great. You know, you, for whatever reason, it, like you said, it did take a little bit longer. But, you know, I think going in, my mindset has always been just to trust the Lord and just to lay the foundation and – you know, it always comes back to me, just lay a foundation and have great unity. You know, lay a foundation, have great unity. We have great culture on this team. And so although it's taken longer, I guess the pro our process is our process here, you know. And, um, you know, we have this great group that came in last year, a group of four incoming freshmen, and we had a, a group of juniors. And just slowly but surely, they just start building on that. And now we're, you know, we're here, and there's just a lot to be said for all the hard work that's gone into that process. And just all the credit goes to this team for, for their willingness to really buy into the culture and want to be united and understand that they came to Virginia for a reason, uh, and that is to, to build this program and get it back on, on track. And so I think they've done a great job in the last two years of doing that because I, th I felt we missed our mark last year, you know, first team out. And so there, there was a lot of fire and fuel um, that went behind hearing not hearing our name called. And I think the girls came in very dialed in this year. and. They were going to make it happen, and they did. Go to the back of the room. What was the trip like down yesterday, and then what was what, what's the message that you've been giving the team over the last couple of days? The trip was fine. You know, we practice as normal. We, we've really kept our routine the same. You know, we have a great men's coach in Tony Bennett. I talked to him, and, and just like I thought, it's just like don't change anything. You know, keep your circle small. Keep your routine the same. Don't get too high, too low. Just focus on the things that have gotten us here. And so that's been the message, you know, moving forward. It's we're not trying to change and, um, and really think about this any differently. So our routine has stayed the same, and that's been our message. And it will continue to be when we have played really well, we've, we've, our identity has always been our defense, our rebounding, and our effort. And if we bring those thing, three things every night, then we're always in, in games and we're very competitive. Um, so that will stay the message. And the trip down, we, we got on the plane and drove to Charlotte's or drove out to the airport, which is about 15, 20 minutes from school after practicing. Got on with the band and the cheerleaders and headed down for about a 50 minute flight and got in and got settled, ate, and went to bed. And here we are.